All right, it's time to talk about NBA 2K15. Now, I know the EA fanboys are running around saying, oh, this game is still the same. I looked at the trailer, and it just it looked the same. The animations were the same. This is not any better than before. Uh, this is going to be garbage. I'm NBA Live all the way. I know y'all running around there saying it. I see the comments. I see the tweets. I see just a whole bunch of biased bullshit, to be honest. And... To be quite honest, you cannot sit there and say that this game doesn't look better than last year. Now, the graphics were up there last year, but I think they went a little bit more in detail than they did last year. Everybody has, almost everybody in this game has their own facial scan. So, they even got the rookies. So, it's no more of that, uh, well, some of them look generic. Now, some of them are going to look generic because this it's... You can't get 100% right now. Now, during the course of the season, I'm pretty sure they're going to hot patch these faces in. So, you will have all all the players in the NBA probably will be in this game with their real faces. Now, like I said before, the fanboys going around. Or if I said this before, but the fanboys are going around. They're just saying a whole bunch of nonsense just because they saw the trailer. They're saying, well, this is a bunch of cheese, you know? And a lot of people don't understand. It, it, it really, if you pay attention to what the developers are saying, you would know the cheese that you're complaining about really isn't here anymore. But anyways, you see my man Shaq and Ernie Johnson up there. Now, we don't have Charles Barkley and we don't have Kenny the Jet Smith. And I, I believe that would have made it that much sweeter if they had those two. But for some strange reason, they always seem to be the only people that don't want themselves in the video game. I, I don't understand that, man. Who wouldn't want to be in a video game? I mean, honestly. But it is what it is. You can do this two two man job by it, it's real easy to do this two man job. It just wouldn't it's not gonna be as entertaining as you would see it on TV with all four of them. But anyways, it's Chris Anderson. Look at the detail. Now this is for the live fanboys right here. How can you not say that this game is not going to be better than live? I mean, really? Really? You say that the facial scans are better on live when you see the facial scans on 2K are just about the same. If not better. But because you see Damian Lillard and his face is on point. That means that everything else about the NBA Live game is better than 2K. Where's your logic? There's no logic. There's no logic. You're just being a fanboy. And you have that strong hope that Live is going to come back. You're, you're, you're praying that they come back strong this year. You're just sitting there. You're biting and chewing your fingernails. You're just, you're just itching for them to come back and have something good to show. And I understand that. But sometimes you just got to stop with the emotional bullshit and actually give credit where it's due. Now, OG, the Cesar, two, two new additions to the team over there at 2K. They're going to help Rob Jones and they're going to help Mike Wayne. Those two guys, plus the two masterminds that just got added, with those two added, it's kind of you can no longer say that this game is going to be garbage or trash or something like that those are two sim heads that you're talking about two sim heads that know sim nation down to the t so all this uh well it's going to be garbage every year still so live is just going to take the crown back stuff is you gotta drop it you just gotta accept the fact that live is coming back and 2k is still going to be better as of right now and you see the signature in introductions. I see a lot of people complaining about um, how how skinny LeBron is. But really, he's lost a lot of weight. I don't know how. I don't know what he did to lose all that weight that fast. But that's amazing. That being said, look at CP3. He didn't look good in 2K14. So they went back in, toned his face up a little bit. And now he looks like his real life counterpart. But let's go ahead and start breaking the trailer down. Now, 
like I said before, a lot of people were complaining throughout the trailer. As you can see, the dancers have returned, but they really haven't returned. They've always been here. They just haven't been as good as they are now. Now they've returned to the court, standing on the side of the court while you're playing. And look at the stutter step that Derrick Rose put on Kobe Bryant. Now there's over 100, over 100 as of right now signature dribbles now they did add signature dribbles to the game something like nba live did last year for live 14 so mike wayne proudly introduces that this year you can see him fight down in the post and i think that was in uh 2k12 or 2k13 where this they would they would fight for position but this year they really fight and they shed off each other but you see anthony davis flopping on the floor that's why you didn't get no foul call you also see Damian Lillard rocking the headband. A lot, look at the rebounding issue is fixed. This is where a lot of people didn't point this out. Look at Noah try to jump up and get that rebound. And he snatched it right down. Now normally that would go into the Noah's hand. You know that little suction animation. Now a lot of people didn't point that out. But I caught it so I pointed it out. Now look at this. A lot of people was complaining about the posterizers. Look at this. You can't really posterize all the time now. Look at him. He lost all control. Look at the physics. So a lot of people, and you see LeBron getting some of Nape here. He just, uh, he just disrespected him. But yeah, look at it in slow motion. Get, oh my goodness. Look at, look at this. But anyways, like a lot of people not understanding. They making some big adjustments. And I say this all the time because last year was about game, well, graphics. And we all know that the gameplay just pissed me off all the way. That I'd say 10 out of 10 for levels of pissing me off. I couldn't even pass the ball without getting it stolen. Like, dudes wouldn't even be looking at the ball. They just steal it. Like, come on, man. Get real. So, this year, their main focal point was gameplay only. And they also did some small adjustments to the graphics, and you can see it. But overall, and check this out. This is one of the things OG was talking about. Charge cheese, gone. And we're getting, we're about to get into that point where I start really just breaking things down. Right now, I'm just rolling with the video. It's not really getting any kind of info out there, but I'm really about to get into it. Now, look at this. He tried to get over and do that charge cheese. Now... What I really want OG to do is go back in there and make sure you cannot activate the charge anywhere besides close to the goal because it's really ridiculous people go back court and stand still and make you now you can dribble around them this year I don't know if y'all caught that or not but you can and look at my man OG tweeting out he says charge cheese is gone and 131 is gone a lot of people abused that 131 so bad it wasn't even funny because they couldn't play man to man now also a lot of them abused it because during man to man your your person would leave the assignment and leave him wide open for three and check my guy out he tweeted um mike wayne and this dude had 40 points in the third quarter the, the opponent he was playing against had 40 points with lillard and it was only in the third quarter so what did mike wayne say about this he said that they're adding in a concept of shot fatigue system so that means the more they go down court and jack up threes and, and do all kinds of crazy stuff, dunk on people, they're going to get tired over, over a span. So you know it's a fatigue system already, but when you're shooting, it's no fatigue. It doesn't take fatigue away when you're shooting. This year, you're going to fatigue when you shoot. So that means you can't jack threes all, all day long. You know, the fatigue system only works for speed and running around, crossovers and stuff like that. Not no more. They implementing in shot fatigue also. So that's going to help them out. Also, they got some signature dribbles. But uh, this back and forth cheese, let's talk about this. Mike Wayne said they took it out. And if you don't know what the back and forth cheese is, is when people run left and right behind a three-point line and then your person can't keep up and then they jack up a three every time. That's what he means by that. They took it out. It's no longer there. And you can no longer sit there and do it. But that's addressed. So these fanboys, and look at this. Like I said earlier, if I did say it, they got a hundred, over a hundred 
size up dribbles in the game now so it's no longer that little stutter step that it used to have they got multiple variations of stutter steps they got signature dribbles they got stuff like that in the game this year and these live fanboys are just saying well you know what they haven't made any changes all the animations let me tell you something the two man animations that where you just get caught into suppose you're running down the court and you just get sucked into a charge it no longer happens they say they got rid of those things now look at my man spaz he tweeted out to him and asked him about the post and uh mike wayne said the post got a lot of work so c hoops got his hands on the post so I, i'm looking to see what they did with that system down low and hopefully they respected it good enough now i do know they said they took out the the hop step dunk i think i think they said they took that out uh, so a lot of things that were being abused and just really didn't make sense they took it out the game and this what i this is what i'm trying to show you guys and tell you guys that it's not the same even though you feel as though that the game is going to be the same they've done a lot of things to take the uh, bad gameplay out and replace it with stuff that makes sense so og down there cesar down there it's over that's all i'm gonna say it's over you guys the the days and the years of just getting a whole bunch of cheese is 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 numbered it's done and with that being said let me know how y'all feeling about this game and don't 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 come into this with an open mind because we got two brand new masterminds down there and we also got um a lot of this cheese being removed so let me know how you really feel especially how you feel about me pointing out some of these things that others didn't catch in their videos even though i didn't watch them all but i saw enough of them to see that they didn't catch some of the stuff that i caught and they didn't provide some of the info that i provided but all in all how do y'all feel about 2k 15 do you really think it's going to be that much more improved or is it just going to be minor improvements and with that being said Peace out, y'all.